caves are mysterious, special places, but Campbell uses it as a metaphor for going into the self. If you look at a lot of the German um, philosophers who write about self-knowledge, work of people like Heidegger and Nietzsche and Junger, they, instead of using a cave, they use the metaphor of a forest, right? Going into the forest. In fact, there's a wonderful book called The Passage into the Forest by Ernst Junger. And this is about going deep into the self to find true authentic freedom and liberation. Because they were saying that you can't find that in the political zone, it's impossible. You can't look for freedom outside, you have to look for the inside first. And then once you have it, or once you've discovered it, then you can begin to make changes in the outward, in the civic zone, in the political zone, and so on. But this idea of going into the cave and confronting the creature, whatever it is, is something that we all must do. What awaits the cave, according to Campbell, what awaits us brings the strongest person and the most courageous person to their knees. So it's a point of despair. When you confront this demon or monster or dragon or whatever your issue is, it will drop you to your knees. It will take every ounce of you. And this is something that Campbell and uh, Hillman really focus on.